The Arm Pryor and District Museum has undergone some major reconstruction over the summer to waterproof the lower levels after their last year's flood. I caught up with museum curator Janet Carlyle to talk about the repairs and what they mean for the museum. Well, it's making us uh, very dry in the lower level, which is which is super. Um, the remediation is a is a result of a flood that we had back on the 13th of February 2016, and. Um, we had uh, the occasion to remove all of the items from the lower level and uh, the engineers came in and had a good look and said this is really what should be done and so um, I applied for a grant and we got it and so um, the town is paying for 50% and the federal government the other 50% and uh, so they've excavated around the exterior of the building and they've waterproofed it and uh, they've also hooked up the eaves troughs and so forth, things which had deteriorated over the years. And of course, with a building built in 1896, you would expect that a few things might have deteriorated in that period of time. So I think a few surprises have, have come up, but uh, nothing that they weren't able to handle, and uh, I think uh, it's looking pretty good, and uh, I'm pleased. It's expected that the work will be completed in the coming week. I think it's probably going to be a week or two from now. Uh, they, uh, I think they have a few things that they need to uh, finish off. And uh, we've certainly had some amazing equipment around and doing some, some amazing stuff. So uh, it's, all, it's all good news. With repairs going on, the museum has remained open for six days a week over the summer, and they will continue to operate without interruptions. For Kojiko News in Armprior, I'm Richard Leboy.